Good evening. Three people and a dog have died after a major fire at a hotel in Perth. More than 60 firefighters tackled the blaze at the New County Hotel in the early hours of this morning. A further 11 people were treated at the scene. Callum Clark reports. This was the scene at the New County Hotel early this morning. Hours later, after the fire was extinguished, its full impact became clear. I can confirm that three people have sadly died at the scene. I can also confirm that a dog has died at the scene. Our thoughts are very much with the families and loved ones of those who have died and, by, and of those affected by this incident. Around five this morning, those inside the building were evacuated. Firefighters are describing it as a complex incident. Our firefighters worked extremely hard in a very complex and challenging environment to prevent the further spread of fire and damage where possible. At its height, we had nine fire appliances in attendance with over 60 firefighters. So this is one of several streets surrounding this city centre hotel which have been sealed off in what is an extensive police cordon. The fire has long been put out but crews still remain on the scene as investigations into what happened get underway. The local council says around 15 people are now being provided temporary accommodation at a nearby hotel. You come to uh, Perth for um, you know a, a celebration and ends tragically and, and uh, this is just the worst news at this time of year. Police say those who lost their lives have yet to be formally identified. The city centre streets likely to remain closed for some time. Callum Clark, STV News. A man is in a serious condition in hospital after he was attacked outside a Glasgow nightclub during Hogmanay celebrations. Police were called to Sanctuary nightclub in Partick at around 1.45am on New Year's Day. A 20-year-old man was taken to the Queen Elizabeth University Hospital where his condition is described as serious but stable. A second man, who is also 20, suffered minor injuries. Now, the main rail line between Glasgow and the northwest of England is to remain closed for several days following a landslip. Engineers are working to repair the damage at car stairs, with the track not expected to open until Friday at the earliest. Meanwhile, train passengers across the country are being warned to expect significant disruption as RMT strikes resume tomorrow. To sport now and Celtic remain nine points clear at the top of the Premiership after a 2-2 draw with Rangers at Ibrox. With the story of the match and the rest of today's football, here's Ronnie Charters. Get your fill of the action. STV Sport, sponsored by Papa John's Pizza. Elsewhere today, Hearts beat Edinburgh rivals Hibs 3-0. It was goalless between Aberdeen Ross County and Kilmarnock St Mirren. Livy and Motherwell finished one all, and Dundee United beat St Johnston one nil. Ronnie Charters, STV News. Get your fill of the action. STV Sports, sponsored by Papa John's Pizza. Well, that's your news and sports. Now, Sean Batty takes a look at today's weather forecast. It's looking like a chilly one. Huey sponsors STV Weather. Good evening and a very happy new year to you. We're starting a new year on an unsettled note and it looks as if for the foreseeable for the next several weeks we'll be looking at low pressure systems coming in from the Atlantic so the weather will be rather changeable, unsettled and potentially stormy at times too. Now it will be very windy as we head into Wednesday. A lot more rain to come tomorrow as well. So yes, uh, very changeable after a lovely day for many of us today. A lot of crisp, sunny but cold weather today. We'll hang on to the clear spells through tonight, especially around north and eastern parts. A widespread frost here. Temperatures possibly parts of the Highlands and also Aberdeenshire, Perthshire, down to lows minus five or minus six, but turning a lot milder across the Hebrides, the west coast later on. Cloud, rain and windier conditions coming in as well. And we will see some snow for higher ground for a time, potentially some wet snow to low levels, but it turning back to rain as the milder air starts to move in through the morning. And that band of rain tomorrow working its way north and east across Orkney and then also Shetland, along with the windy weather during the afternoon. 
But across many northern areas, we'll see the best of the weather tomorrow. The North Highlands, Lewis, Harris, Orkney, after that rain clears away in the morning. Central and southern parts will see yet more rain coming in, especially for the likes of Perth, Glasgow, Stirling, Edinburgh and Ayr, looking pretty wet through much of the day tomorrow. A mild day to come on Wednesday, very windy in the south to start with, then the windiest conditions later on in the north. Tui sponsors STV Weather. And that's all from us for the moment. For all the latest, you can keep up to date on our website and app. From everyone on the news team, enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.